I'm Hidayah. My metric number 20236434 will be introduced to you guys about our victory in Penang National Park for our video presentation. Penang National Park located in Pulau Pinang has a span of 1,230 hectares of land and sea and is used by scientists, visitors and natural birds to explore its natural treasure. This present site is now rich with flora and fauna. There are over 1,000 species of plants recorded which are dominated by the family Dipterocarpasia, Anacardasia, Leguminosia, Aposmasia, Euphorbiasia and Mauricea. They are also have a 271 species of fauna. Besides that, it has two main tracks starting from the main entrance to Ratchet Beach and Teluk Gambi Beach where each of its experts immediately in 2-3 to three hours. From the slide, you guys can see the are 7 pictures have been included show the Ratchet Beach in Pinay National Park during our field trip. In respect, the lake located on this beach consists of two layers of water which has different temperature and density. Fresh water will be at the first layer while the sea water will be at the second layer. For you guys' information, the purpose and objective of our field trip was to make an observation of plants and animals in Pinay National Park. There are several of plants and animal species has been collected and been discovered by us to be presented in this video presentation. Next, I will pass to my other teammates to present more detail about animal and plant that has been discovered by their category of kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, and other else. Hi, I'm Shafina. My metric number is 20238010022. I will be presenting about the Kinder Plantae. We have discovered some of species of plant at the Penang National Park. For example, Dicranopteris lianaris and Danus hauleticaris. Is Dicranopteris lianaris species. The common names are include all over fog ferns, resum, and bengkawang. The scientific name is Dicranopteris lianaris. The plant division is fern, which is the largest and the most diverse group of seedless vascular plants. Vascular plant has two types vascular tissue which is xylem and phloem. The propagation method for this species are through spar. The cross form are herbaceous plant where large ferns sprawling up to 3 meters. Herbaceous plant have soft green stem and lack of woody tissue such as pet. Herbaceous plant are usually low growing and seasonal. These plant spar are located underneath each fronts. They are cluster of sporangia called sorry, as you can see on the picture. The leaf of fronts is generally composed of few main parts: the blade and the petiole. They also unrolling fronts called feeder head, measure from the base toward the tips. They are also Cranopteris linearis is a plant that belongs to the plantae kingdom. Within the kingdom, it falls under Petrodophyta phylum. Moving down, it is the class Polyphodiopsida. It is the order Glacianialis. Zooming further, it belongs to Glacianiasi family. Finally, within the genus Dicranopteris, this species is identified as Dicranopteris linearis. Let's move to this slide. The image shows the Pandanus holiday carrier species. The common name include Pandan Hutan and Mengkuan Hutan. The scientific name is Pandanus holiday carrier. The plant division is Anchiosperms, which are seed-bearing and flowering plants. The propagation method for the species are through seeds. The cross form is an evergreen shrub or small tree usually growing up to 2.4 meters tall. The plant seed is monocotyledon, which typically it has single cotyledon. The leaves for this species are linear, tapering gradually to sharp points, and coppery purple when young, dark green when mature with very small spine, and 240 by 120 cm. Pendanus holoticaria is a plant that belongs to the plantae kingdom. Within the kingdom, it falls under Tracheophyta phylum. Moving down, it is in the class Liliopsida. It in the order Pandanus. Zooming further, it belongs to Pandanusia family. Finally, within the genus Pandanus, this species identified as Pandanus holoticaria. Hi, I am Shakina. My message number is 20238580788. I will continue our presentation on kingdom plantae. The species of plant that will be discussed by me is Acrotrema costatan jet. Acrotrema costatan jet species. The common name are includes yellow jungle star, tutup bumi rimba, meroyan punai tanah, and punai tunggal. The scientific name is Acrotrema costatan jet. The plant division is angiosperm with flowering seed plants. Propagation method for this species are through seed. The group form. Is low-growing herbaceous shrub up to 30 cm high. 
the plant seed is decatiladin. As for the leaf, matured leaves large up to 16 cm long, thick, distinctly and numerously veined with tomatoes at axial nerves and toothed margins. Let's move to this picture. The image shows the Acrotrema costatum jet species with numerously vein. Acrotrema costatum jet belongs to Plantae Kingdom and it falls under Trachopita phylum. Moving down is the Magnolopsida class. It is the Denalis order. Zooming further is Delanisiae family. Finally, the genus is Acrotema. The species identified is Acrotema costatum jet. Hi, my name is Marisha and my matrix number is 2023862722. I will continue our presentation about Kingdom Animalia. The species of animal that will be discussed by me is Ashtore lunaris, Sorophora sciata, and Hensia granada. Ashtore lunaris, which also known by its common name, moon crab, can be easily found in their habitat which is in sand flat in front of mangroves. This species hunts for clams, small fish, shrimps, and other small animals. They reproduce sexually by laying eggs. The last span is from 1 to 3 years. Ashtore lunaris is an invertebrate. The second species is Sorophora ciliata, also known as Galeniper. Galeniper is kinda similar to regular mosquito but larger and have a painful bite. This species can be found near damp soil and grassy overgrowth. They reproduce sexually by laying eggs. Their life cycle only lasts for about a week. Sorophora ciliata is an invertebrate. The third species is Hensia granada, also known as Hens jumper. Hens jumper is one of many jumping spider. This species usually lives in wood piles, tropical forests, and rocky habitat. They hunt for cricket, flies, roaches, mealworms, and moth. They reproduce sexually by laying eggs. Their lifespan is about 6 months to 2 years. Hensia granada also is an invertebrate. Hi, I am Nofara Nadia. My matrix number is 2023449004. I'm going to present next three animalia, which is Papilu Indra, Macacapaschicularis, and Ramatocerus cystocerus. So next animalia is Swallowtails. It lives in forests and its food is nectar flowers and it reproduces by laying eggs and its lifespan is 10 to 12 days and it is under invertebrate classification. So the phylum is Arthropoda, it is from class Insecta and it is under Lepidoptera order and it's from Papilionidae family and it's under Papilio genus and its species name is Papilio indra. For the fifth animal here is crab eating macaque. It lives in secondary forests, it eats fruits, flowers, invertebrate and small animals. It also giving birth and its lifespan is 15 to 30 years and it is vertebrate. So the phylum is under Codata and it is from Mammalia class and is under Primates order and it is from Cercopithecidae family and its genus is Macaca and its species name is Macaca pesciculares. And for the last animalia is Ramatoceres. It lives in dry open habitats and it is plant and it also reproduces by laying eggs same as the butterfly swallowtails and its lifespan is 12 months or 1 year and its classification is under invertebrate. So the phylum is under Arthropoda, it is from class Insecta and it's under Autoptera order and it is from Acididae family and its genus is Ramatoceres and its species name is Ramatoceres cystocerus. I think that's all from us. Thank you.